This week on What's Good Cape Cod, we are celebrating Valentine's Day. I'm Sarah Lapsley Martin. And I'm Katie Clancy. Welcome back to What's Good Cape Cod, where we show you the Cape through the eyes of a couple of locals. And every Tuesday, we talk about a person, place, and thing we think you should know about. That's right. And let's start right away with our person. So this is Valentine's Day. And so we, we were thinking of like love and and all things that, you know, Valentine's Day. And when we thought of love and we thought of people on Cape Cod, we thought of Sonny Feldman, yes. who's going to be wildly embarrassed yeah. by the teacher. <laughs> she is like, going <laughs> to not necessarily like it, but we did not ask her permission. And don't plan to. So, <laughs> Sunny, hey, what's up? We chose Sunny. Well, I mean, for God's sake, listen to her name. Does she have a choice? No. But to be amazing and wonderful and sweet. So when you first meet Sunny, you're like, oh my God, she's so nice. And she is. She will also cut you if you're going to hurt somebody you love. <laughs> she is so committed to actively loving the people, like actually all people, not just the people that she, she cares about. So, so she's in real estate like we're, that happens to be what she does for money. So that does not define her, right? No, By any stretch. Um, she was with, no, Sarah, you guys were co-chairs of YPN. So we were co-chairs together of YPN, which is the Young Professional Network of Realtors. Um, and while we were worked together, we, you know, we organized fundraising events. We actually put together um, this big drive for Hack. And at Christmas Housing time, Assistance could, Corporation, for those yes. of you who don't know. Yes. And um, we collected items for a home. So for people that were transitioning out of shelters into their first homes, so we would get baskets and, and put anything from dishware, you know, things like that, that they would need for their new home. So she was huge involved with that. Um, and most recently, She's really stepped up to help Jenny over at the Family Table Collaborative, which we have yes. featured here. Um, I was there one day painting, helping paint, and she had literally her whole family there. So she had her husband there, she had her sister, she had the kids. Um, a huge, huge supporter of that. Um, and as yeah. well as, I know she's a huge supporter of Amplify POC. She's on the board at Amplify POC. She was also the co-chair of the um, di the new diversity and inclusion committee um, for our board with my business partner, Jeff Klontz. He was the chair last year. Now she is the chair of that. So it, Sunny, like she doesn't complain. She doesn't, Sunny doesn't complain about stuff. She just gets about fixing it. She just gets about straightening it out. We've had, I remember a talk that Sunny and I had once, cause well, we all have daughters, the three of us. Yeah. And she was going, my daughters are older than hers. And she was going through a thing that I'd already gone through with my daughters. And she was like, what do I do? <laughs> and like her, her, the way she talked about how she was gonna handle this thing with her daughter was so loving and so like in, respectful and, just like the kind of mom everybody should have, you know, she's just, we should all be a little bit more like Sunny, I guess. And she's is very, like, she's very humble as well. Like you said, she's going to be like, oh my goodness, why did you, you know? Yeah. She, she exuberates love and, and passion for things, helping people in the community. Um, we're lucky to have her here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Her friend. Yes, we are very lucky to call her friend. So you should follow her. We'll put up all her handles and whatnot. Follow her, support the things that she supports um, because they, they should be. They need you too. Yes. All right. I want to hear about our place, Sarah. I love cookies. So Talk to me about cookies. Our place is Cookie Caper, located actually in Dennis. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe one caveat I should say, by the time you're watching this, I am sure she'll be sold out for Valentine's Day, yeah. but <laughs> you can stay tuned for her next holiday or custom order. Um, so Jamie is a business grown out of the pandemic. Um, she really started late, of to, late 2020 was when her business started. She, it was a hobby that she then, I think it, she said that she baked her first cookie in February of 2020, it, it wasn't pretty, but then it formed into this business. And last year in 2021, she sold and baked over 500 dozen cookies. So- Holy cow, 500 dozen. 
Yeah, I mean, she's she's incredible. And what, I think it's That's funny. 6,000 cookies. So. Right? And she describes yeah. herself, this is her quote, as the CEO, CFO, baker, decorator, marketing manager, social media <laughs> manager, accountant, purchasing manager, and general mad woman behind the cookie caper. So she is truly a one woman show over there. I mean, I'm sure she yep. does help her a little, but you know, she, this is it. She's doing this. This is her side gig. Um, she's really loving it. I first met her at a love local fest, which is where we get to meet lots of local makers. Yep. Um, and her gorgeous cookies drew us in. And once, once we tasted them, we were hooked. They were, they're just amazing. They're beautiful. They taste delicious. Um, so because it's Valentine's Day, we'll, we'll talk about her Valentine's Day cookies. Wait, wait, let's talk about Valentine's Day. Let's see your, your sweater. Let me see. Oh, yes. Let's see the sweater. I have a little love here. Oh, no. We have to be festive. We have yes, to be festive. absolutely. I've got my red. Yeah. And, and she made, I mean, all of her cookies are festive. But for Valentine's Day, she had um, a little box. They were kind of like heart, like conversation heart cookies. She had some um, gumball machines that say, I choose you, which were really cute. She also has things like create your own conversation heart. So it's like a cookie kit and then you can paint on them, which is cookie really kits. Did she yeah. do like kids cookie kits during the pandemic? Yes. And like you can, she would have, um, we did some, it, I think we did maybe Christmas ones. It was like a little elf and then you could paint them. They were so cute and, you know, fun to give as gifts and everything. And the other yeah. cool thing she's doing for Valentine's Day, but she has for Christmas is cookie cards. So it's like a card um, that has a cookie on it. So I personally gave some for um, Christmas to like teacher presents and things like that. Oh, so it's a card you give with a cookie on it. Um, and they're they're sealed, they're vacuum sealed, so they stay sure. fresh. Yeah. But she's de designing some fun things, not just, you know, the straight ordinary cookie. Um, yeah. And she truly can design anything that you dream of. One of the other cool things that she's been doing is like business logos. So when we were talking to um, Rachel of Grazing, she had mentioned yep. like cookie paper. So they have cookies that have the grazing logo on them which is pretty fun i've seen sundance clothes do them so a lot of different places are doing those um i'm you know, little, literally, literally writing notes right now you should. go you would, on yours would look great on a cookie. i'm thinking <laughs> yes <laughs> jamie yeah she will do jamie will do a great job and another thing that we love is she gives back to the community so um one thing that she did last year was during autism awareness month she donated a hundred percent of proceeds from her they were cookies for a cause to forward cape cod which is supporting um a build, building of additional housing here on the cape for adults mm -hmm. with autism so what a nice way to give back to the community um sweet treat so go oh, jamie oh, oh yeah. that's awesome yes. i love it how i learn something every time we do <laughs> yeah. one of these shows. <laughs> go follow her eat her cookies yes and that's perfect for valentine's day and yeah sorry she's probably all sold out by the time you're reading this so she's definitely <laughs> sold out but yeah St. Patrick's Day, you got to get on. St. Patrick's Day, Mother's Day, come on! There's a million yeah. reasons, or just get a cookie, like exactly. Uh, <laughs> um, so we should move on to our thing. So staying on the Valentine's Day theme, we thought we'd go a little on the edge for this one, and the thing because there's a lot of it here on the Cape is boudoir photography. Yes. So Sarah, have you ever done a boudoir session? I have not. I have seen people and i've had friends that have done them and they're honestly look amazing they do uh, you know i uh, maybe i'll have to try maybe I'll have your to face try. is matching your sweater <laughs> like i don't know i just <laughs> oh my god god i don't know i've never done one but i think it would be kind of a cool like instead of chocolates or flowers you know you're trying to marty if you're out. watching yeah yeah <laughs> lucky guy so <laughs> I, <laughs> So I, I just thought, I just started looking up like boudoir photography, Cape Cod, yeah. whatever, you know, it's like, well, it's actually become a very, it's a much more, it's like boudoir and wedding photography. Yeah. And it's not like just, it's not dirty pictures of you, you know, it, yes, there's not, sometimes not as many clothes and there's a sensuality about it. Yes. But these are some of the most beautiful photos. And what Sarah and I, you have noted, you know, I've noticed is that uh, since like the body positivity movement has come along, a lot of these photographers are helping with that by ta take, taking women and saying, look, you're gorgeous. Let me show you how gorgeous you are. And they're Breaking doing them that. Out of themselves, shells, yeah. and loving and themselves. Like, being like, here's a pose that's gonna make you look gorgeous because seeing with different eyes, I think it's just like, it gets me a little, woo, the clamped. Like, really amazing and we've got we've in these 
there's, we know uh, for sure of two different women photographers who are doing this beautifully. And we'll leave, we'll leave some, um, some of these links for you guys to get like Sarah Murray's one of them. Um, Michelle K does, she's Cape Cod uh, Boudoir. And also Joe Navas at Organic Photography has done some absolutely gorgeous. And they could do them outside too. Like um, at Cape Cod Boudoir, they talk about in the dunes of the Cape, like taking pictures in the dunes in your birthday suit, Woo! it gives me the, <laughs> but it's not necessarily in your birthday suit. All the photos that I've seen have had some sort of clothing or draping yeah. or something, very tasteful stuff. Yeah. Um, it's so just the way they shoot it. it yeah. Of it. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but <laughs> I think you guys should. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Report back. <laughs> yeah. Let us know how it goes. <laughs> oh man. All right. Oh. Well, I think that's all. Like, I think you know what's good Cape Cod, you guys. Um, so if you're if you're watching on YouTube, hit, please hit like, because who what's not to like about this episode? But also three buttons, like, subscribe, and notification. So you get so you get notified each time we drop a new episode. And if you're looking for more information about anything we talked about today or past episodes, you can visit our website at whatsgoodcc.com. We hope you all have a great Valentine's Day full of love. Yes. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs>